this video I'm going to show you how to make this super awesome fabric basket really quick and easy. This piece here is a piece of fusible fleece so on one side there is a glue and it attaches to the fabric. This measures in at 12 inches by 12 inches. To start making this fabric basket, you're going to get your one of your pieces of fabric and you're going to have it face down and you're going to grab your fusible and you're going to put that face down. So basically, the glue side is going to be on the wrong side of your fabric. You can also use Quilter's Cotton for this. I'm just using the fusible because it's just easier. I can just adhere it to one side so I don't have to baste anything. It's just something that gives it a bit more stability. So you are going to press this onto the fabric to give your fabric basket some stabilisation. Because you don't want your fabric basket to be floppy. And the stabiliser, hence the fusible fleece, is going to help keep that a little bit stiff. So you're just going to press this on. You are now going to get your second piece of fabric and you are going to place them right sides together. So now for your fabric basket, you have a piece of unfused fabric and then you've got this section here that we have our fusible stuck to it. So you're going to put them right sides together and what we're going to do is going to take it to our sewing machines and we're going to sew all the way around the square however you are going to leave a little bit of a gap because we're going to pull this right side through i use 9014 needles for any of my sewing projects that require cotton and remember we're going to leave this opening so always start a little bit away and i'm using this foot just to put next to my fabric and i'm going to start sewing I'm going to start sewing our fabric baskets and we're just going to start off and we're going to backstitch and I'm lining that fabric up to the edge of this foot here so let's sew all the way and if you haven't turned it on already turn your pivot key on because what that does is it automatically raises this foot up here so I don't have to keep going up and down at the back here it automatically does it for me when I stop my presser foot so I'm going to continue on and then I'm just going to pivot and I'm going to sew all the way down all the next three corners making sure when we come back to that top bit we leave a bit open I'm just coming to the end here so I'm just going to do a few more stitches and then I'm going to back stitch and go forward again. So here we go. This is our fabric basket so far. And as you can see, there's a little opening here. And before I turn it right sides out, I'm going to trim these corners. That helps to keep the corners nice and tidy when it's been flipped all the way through. Now, all you're going to do is reach inside and pull everybody right side through. Your fabric basket is going to look something like this so what i recommend is you get your iron and you just press all the way around and then you're going to have this tuck you're going to fold the tuck inside of itself so it marries the rest of your project to get the corners of your fabric basket nice and crisp you're going to get something blunt in order to push these corners out. Try not do it, to do it with a pair of scissors because it's probably going to end up popping out that corner and you're going to create a hole. So it's going to have to be something blunt. The next thing to do is to top stitch the fabric basket down. I like just to keep everything on its manufacturer's settings on a straight stitch. As we top stitch the fabric basket down, it also closes up that little hole that we had. So it's going to close everything up. So go ahead and top stitch everybody down. Go as fast or as slow as you want. Okay, so so far you've basically made a placemat of a mug rug. Now here's where the magic's going to happen. 
Decide which part you want to be the inside and which part you want it to be the outside of your fabric basket. I want pink to be the outside of my fabric basket. So I'm going to get my ruler here. And it depends how much you want the, the walls of your basket to be. I'm going to make a deeper basket. So I'm going to make mine at two inches. One inch is maybe a bit too, like, not enough. I'd go at least one and a half, but I'm going to go with two. And I can eyeball this. I can see it's right by this cone here. So I'm going to grab this here. What you're going to do is you're going to fold that in on itself like so. It's just going to be around about two inches. Just watch what I do again. So it was this cone right here and I'm going to raise up my two corners here. And there we go. And another thing that you can do is probably get your ruler and just measure. So if I wanted to two, it's, it'd be about here, about two inches. So again, just laying it flat and then you're going to pinch at the corner here and it's probably best to measure two inches and what you're going to do now is you're going to sew this down you're going to tack this down you're not going to sew it all the way down you're literally just going to tack down the top so i'm going to go a little bit here and i'm going to go forward and backwards and go forwards and back stitch and that's it you don't have to do it all the way down just tack it down so here we go can you see what i've done here i've tacked it down just slightly and just so you can see it's about two inches so you're just going to tack it down slightly like so i'm going to grab the next section and let's just measure the two inches this is probably the easier way to do it so that's two inches there. Go take it to the sewing machine and go tack it down again. You're going to see as you naturally, it'll naturally form into a basket. It's naturally going to go into that shape. So let's do a, another corner. Just going to grab it like so. And we're going to measure the two inches. And we're going to tack this side down. And then we're going to get the final corner, fold it over, measure your two inches and tack this down. This is what your fabric basket's going to look like. Now it's up to you. You can take it to your iron and you can define these by pressing them and they'll become a lot more prominent. And also you can push these parts out a little bit. Another thing that I like to do is add some buttons on these parts here i'm going to do some hand sewing get them buttons attached do my pressing and you'll see my fabric basket in a second here's my fabric basket all complete with buttons and the perfect place to store my scissors and my seam ripper so i can't misplace them now i can have my fabric basket right next to my sewing machine I really hope you've enjoyed watching this sewing tutorial and it's giving you something extra to make. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss my next video. Thank you so much for watching guys. Bye!